What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully today is the day that we will one, be able to get out on some early ice, but most importantly, catch some fish. Now we are at a lake right now, as you can tell, if I uh, turn the camera a little bit, I got Brandon being the mule deer here, carrying all of our gear, a special <laughs> guest. What's up? Cody S. If you guys uh, have been watching our channel, you know who this guy is. He's got a YouTube channel as well. So if you want to check out everything that he's going to film this season, will be linked down below. But right now, like I said, we are walking to a frozen lake that we normally film at every year, early ice, that is absolutely loaded with crappies. So we have made it uh, to the spot where we're going to start walking down. We do have a spud bar with us. Last time I was here, it was um, it was like half open and now it's froze. So hopefully the part that uh, locked up just a few days ago is safe enough for us to get out here, but I'm excited. Last video, as you guys saw, I went out, but did not catch any fish. So Brandon and I are super pumped to get out here because we know if we can make it out there, we are going to hammer some fish. How are you feeling, Brandon? First fish of the 2022, 2023 season, what do you think? Yeah, I got a good feeling. It's gonna be, it's gonna be sketchy. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's still early, but I think today's the day it happens. Well, everyone, as you can tell, uh, we are standing on a frozen lake, which is great. Now, the day that I filmed the last video that you guys saw, I did check this lake, and if you guys watched the whole video, I did talk about me falling in earlier in the day. This is the lake that I fell in on. The stuff that we are standing on right now is what was frozen on Saturday. Um, so you can tell the difference between this ice and that ice right there. That is what was open and this has now froze. Um, so yeah, it, we'll have to still see how much ice is there. I do believe that it is gonna be safe. It is black clear ice, which is the best ice that you could possibly have. But you are gonna have to have a spud bar with you at all times because uh, every inch of this lake could be different. But I don't know if you'll probably be able to check it, but over there in the distance, there is a black hole, uh, which is refrozen ice, which is where I actually fell in. And real quick, I wanted to give a shout out uh, to this brand new ice fishing winter suit that we got from PC Fun. This is brand new on the market for this year. And uh, yeah, I already did the favor for all of you guys in testing the product by jumping in the lake. And I'm here to tell you that this thing really does float. And the bright side about this, I'm not wearing the jacket right now, but you can get the jacket and the bibs for, I don't wanna call other brands out, but you can get it for almost half the price of other brands on the market. It does float, it is super comfortable and it's really warm. So if you guys wanna check out the PC Fun bibs, make sure, go down in the description, check it out, use our link, use our code NBEdits18, you guys can save 18% off. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully I don't have to use this and show you guys that it floats today, but I'm gonna go over here right away and just spud. As you can tell right here, we probably got four inches of ice out here on the stuff that was froze. If I go over here, a lot thinner, as you can tell, but Knowing your spud bar is like the most important thing. Um, I've been using this spud bar the last couple of years, so I know with each hit, like where I'm at for ice thickness and what my body can support and go on top of. So with this hit, knowing that it doesn't go through on the very first hit, I know that I got at least two inches of ice, which is not very much, but black clear ice, two inches, I know I can support myself on it. And uh, yeah, that means we're gonna spud our way out to the spot and uh, get the live scope down start banging some crap. First hole chiseled. Just gonna go ahead, drop the live scope down here quick. See if we got any fish in the area, which we do. Oh God. Okay. We got fish in the area, Cody. Oh, that is good. Oh God. That is scary. Okay. We got fish right under me, multiple. I'm gonna go ahead and just start quick drop this down. I have no idea where I am on the live scope. We're in business. First fish, small little crappie. All right, well, not the giant we wanted, but that's the first fish. 
of the season. Oh boy, there's a lot of them down there too. The thing with this lake is you're gonna have to sort through some fish of that size. But randomly, you'll never know when it's gonna happen, but randomly you're gonna just all of a sudden catch like a 14, 15 incher. Okay. Lots of fish. So I didn't even have the live scope set up yet. And we got a nice crop. Look at that Man. Guy. There's a pile. We're gonna have to sort through these things here though. So we're gonna have to try to get through the big one. Nice thing about the live scope is that you can tell the size of the marks. So, a lot of them that are down there right now are not very big. Like right now we got a bigger one that's coming in. We're gonna try to get that one. He's coming in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's better. Not, there you go. not huge, but it's better. I could tell right away. So I pulled away from some of the smaller ones. So I could catch this guy. Probably like a nine inch or something like that. But there are tons and tons of crappies down here right now, which is exactly what we all wanted. I'm gonna have to hold the camera here probably soon so Brandon can start catching some fish, but beautiful. I am loving this, wow. All right, here we go. Oh, one racing up. Game over. <laughs> oh, I love early ice. It does not get any easier than that. There we go. First fish, tiny. Go ahead and get it back. Still exciting, still fun. I'm gonna go ahead, drop it down. Fish just sitting there waiting for me. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a roll. Five, four, three, two, Oh, tap me on one. Tap me on one. Go ahead, slowly drop that back down. This one's coming racing. Holy cow. Three, two, one. There we go. Woo! All right, there we go. Go ahead. See you later. Wow. Absolutely choking the dinner bell. Small fish, big bite. Gotta love it. There's one. A little bit better. This one's weird. Let's see if I can scoot out over to this camera. This one's really weird because this one's like gray and blue. A lot different than a lot of like the really dark green and black colored crappies that we catch out of here. But cool little fish. Probably still only like eight or nine inches. Still searching for a bigger one. But a lot of the times in this lake, you will find that you will catch your biggest crappie right before dark and there's only going to be a couple chances at them but eventually they will come through higher up in the water column and uh, they won't waste any time and just absolutely destroy it there's only going to be a couple of them but you got to make sure you're ready for it here we go we got one racing in it's gonna hit it for sure a little better Nice little crappie. I'd say this is probably the main average on this lake. Seems like most of the times they come out here, it's both the same size almost every time, which is fine. And also, it really doesn't matter because we're out on two inches of hard ice up here in northern Wisconsin, and it just does not get better than just putting a pile of fish on top of the ice, regardless of the size. Obviously, I wouldn't want to be doing this two months from now catching eight inches, but for right now, anything that bites my line is a success, and I'm loving this. Got another one coming in right now. Got him. All right, we're going up in size. Another cookie cutter, same as pretty much all the other ones, but going in the right direction. I got bigger suspended marks coming in. Is there a crib over here? No. What? I don't think so. What, what do I got on the screen? Right here? Bring back the live scope. Oh God, I got some really big marks. Oh my God, these are it. These are it. These are the marks. Got some really oh that's a big crappie cody i'm gonna get destroyed 
Oh, that was sassy. Well, there we go. I got a big school coming in. They're up higher, but that is the right ones we're looking for. Nothing too big, but that's a good start. There's a couple of them down there. So I'm gonna keep this one on the ice so I don't spook them. It's a little higher in the water now. Drop back down. A little higher here to make happen. There's about three or four marks. I don't see them anymore, but they can't be very far. You have a lot of marks over there? No, but I just had a bunch come in higher up, which usually are the bigger ones. There's another one. A little smaller, but another crappie. Huh, this is, uh, this is exciting. Go ahead and get that out. Here we go, we got one racing in. He's gonna slam me. Here he comes, you can see him raising up. Got him, everything's froze up. <laughs> Another decent crappie, slammed it. This is about the time right now when we would uh, happen to see a giant. This one, not too big, about the cookie cutter average size out here, but gotta get back down there because the chances are right now we probably got about, I don't know, 15 minutes of daylight left. So we are just trying to get on top of fish as fast as we can before the day ends. Uh, you can see we got a couple right on the bottom that are scooting over. This one's coming in. Let's see if he ends up hitting. Doesn't look too big of a mark. Oh, here comes another one randomly. And I missed them. Okay, now we're getting some marks. That one on the bottom of the left looks a lot bigger. A lot bigger. We're gonna try to get that one. Got another one. He's raising for it. See if he hits. Oh, he's all over it. Just dart it off. That's a bigger mark. Come on. Come on. Please hit. There we go. This one's better. For sure better. Scoot over. Show you guys possibly one of the last crappies of the night. It is getting dark. Uh, I don't know if you can tell or not because I do have a flashlight on the camera, but that's probably, I don't know, 10 incher, 10, 11 incher. Go ahead, get a release on him. We'll see how many more opportunities we get here, but it does look like it's slowing down. They're not grouped up as much and it is getting pretty dark. underneath me. Here comes another one. Some competition. Definitely means one of these fish are going to strike, like this one. Yep. Another decent crappie. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but another nice one. Alright, here we go. We got some marks coming in. 
one of them looks pretty decent. Crawling in on the right hand side. Oh, come in. Just come in here and just hit this jig. Be big. Oh, he's, oh God. Oh my God, I just missed him. That was probably the best crappie of the day and I missed him. You freaking suck. Yeah, but maybe I can get another chance. Maybe. He's still, no, no. <sighs> well, probably the biggest crappie of the day and I just missed him, so. Love that. Oh God, this is a big crappie. I'm nervous actually. I can see this one, <laughs> how big he is on the live scope, oh my. He's two feet away now. Oh, please. Please hit. There's two giant marks. Oh my god. Oh, that one was right under me and didn't hit. Nick, you scared him. Oh my god. Nick, you scared him. Dude, that was the biggest mark of the day. <sighs> well, I'm not sure exactly how well you guys can see me. Hopefully it's still pretty fine, but fish are definitely scarce. We're only getting one at a time here. Not like the big schools like we were seeing earlier. And the ones that do come in are not really hitting. So, I'm gonna go ahead pull up the jig here and probably end today it is very dark out here probably within the next 10 minutes here we probably won't be able to see and we'll definitely need flashlights to guide us back so want to get off the ice before it gets to that point just because it is still pretty thin um, even though we have multiple people here we just want to be safe about it so that being said i'm going to go pick up the camera pick up the live scope We'll head over to Brandon and uh, talk to him to see how he thought today went. As you can tell, it is dark. The sun has completely gone down and we are wrapping everything up. We got everything packed up. We're going to start the venture back off the lake. But wow, does it feel really good, especially after last mission, the last video you guys saw. We actually got out here on early ice and caught some crappies. This is just the beginning, so obviously we're only hitting lakes. Um, that we can get to right now, but as things start to freeze you guys will be able to see more content But we are going to be hammering out the crappie content as much as we can as of right now Just a couple keepers a couple keepers nothing too crazy But some nice 10, 10 11 inches that we're gonna be taking home nice little meal for the boys just a couple little fish a couple slabs and uh, Yeah, man can't complain. This is this is ideal. It's not like Super cold, obviously it's under freezing, thank God, because uh, we want to keep this ice because we're having some fun here. But uh, yeah, good conditions today. We're making ice right now as we speak. We're, we're all out here, actually fairly close. When we first got here, we were, we were pretty scared, but I think there's a little bit more than we thought. I think we're working with about two and a quarter, two and a half inches probably. At first, when we, you know, when we got here, we thought, ooh, that's less than we thought, but not too bad. We had some fun and guys, it's 2022. We caught some fish today. Let's go. Well, if you guys are excited for the early ice season for the 2022, 2023 season, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we're gonna be out here grinding. We are gonna be trying to post three videos a week. Um, we'll see if that stays true. Obviously things happen and things change, but for the most part, we're gonna be trying to post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday this ice fishing season. We have a lot of great ideas going forward. A lot of underwater footage. As you guys know, you can expect a lot of tip-up fishing, a lot of walleye action, and who knows, we got a couple other secrets up our sleeve, but this is just the start. I'm glad we were able to get out and catch some fish and put out an awesome video for you guys. So again, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below what you wanna see and what you thought of today's video. Other than that, you guys have anything else to say? I 
love early ice, baby. <laughs> Cody loves early ice, and so do I. And I know you guys, if you're watching, you do as well. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edits. <laughs>